Hey guys, Chris here with The Good Old Gamer. So today, we got some more interesting news out in the GPU front. That's right, there's a new GTX 1180 leak. Oh my god, hype train! No, just kidding. That's not what we're talking about here today. In fact, we're actually talking about Intel, and it looks like they're laying the groundwork for their future GPUs. Hmm. Stick around and see what's going on. Hey guys, if you like videos like this, please consider becoming a patron over on Patreon. For as little as $1 a month, you can seriously help me out in getting tech on hands so we can do more videos like this one right here. I want to thank everybody for their support, and links will be in the description below. Now, on to the video. So, I was over at Tech Power Up here today, and I was looking over some of the articles, and this one seemed kind of interesting. Intel is basically pushing developers towards Vulkan usage. Okay, that's pretty cool, uh, but I wanted to go ahead and actually check this out from the source directly. And this is over at Intel's Developer Zone. Here, let me switch this up. There you go, you can see this a little bit better. So this is directly from Intel themselves. If you're a game developer and you're not up to speed on Vulkan, you should be. Vulkan APIs are one of the industry's hottest technologies. They support multi-threaded programming, simplified cross-platform development, and the backing of makers of major chips, GPUs, and devices. They basically go on here for a little bit and talk about what Vulkan is and how great it is, and they even go into explaining how smaller developers can actually go ahead and utilize Vulkan in their future programs. Now, you might be asking yourself, Chris, why is this so important? And what I find interesting about this is the fact that Intel, which we do know is looking at getting into the GPU market, likely in 2020, maybe 2021, and it looks like they're starting to lay the groundwork by helping developers utilize an open source program. Now, the other thing that I find interesting is that Intel already supports Visa Adaptive Sync technology, which this standard is perhaps better known as FreeSync. So we are looking at Intel supporting both Vulkan as the next generation API, and they already support FreeSync. Hmm, this is very interesting because this means that NVIDIA looks like they're going to be left out in the cold. They're going to be that cool kid that was too cool to go to the party and was over in the corner sitting by themselves. If two of the three new GPU manufacturers are supporting a certain piece of technology and you have the other guy over there saying nope we can't do that you know you have to go ahead and spend five hundred dollars more for stuff just because we are premium uh this is really not going to work out for them so anybody out there that's been backing FreeSync and vulcan as a technology it looks like that's going to be getting a major boost here in the not too distant future from another tech giant in Intel. Now I wanted to go ahead and bring this up because in the last video it did allude to uh, FreeSync being available on Samsung's new QLED TVs. And like I said, it's also available on some more budget friendly models. You can get a 55 or 65 inch for like 800 bucks and it does support FreeSync. Uh, I forgot the model number, but I'll do a video on that later. Um, so this is obviously becoming more and more important. The fact that adaptive sync and open standards are being pushed by not just AMD now, but they're also being pushed by Intel. And like I said, if you have those two companies on one side of the camp, where does this really leave Nvidia? Now that's not to say Nvidia's technologies aren't good because they are. It's just, they're building themselves a wall you know, kind of like the Trump wall around America, the theoretical one. They want to go ahead and build that wall and stay inside of it. And this is something that companies like Apple have done. And a lot of people have equated NVIDIA to companies like Apple, the that super premium brand charging bajillions of dollars for, you know, something that's equal to something else that you can get for half the price uh, from their competition. But it does kind of make sense. You know, once I saw the Titan V, I was like, what the hell are they doing? And it looks like that's where NVIDIA is going. They're trying to go for that ultra premium gamer, uh, the people that make six plus figures a year, people that just don't care and they want the absolute best and don't care if it costs a fortune to get there. That's what the BFGDs are for. That's what the new, uh, was it G-Sync HDR? You know, like I said, it's $500 for the modules of those. So you're looking at $500 for just a chip, and then they got to build the TV around it. 
So you're talking about crazy, crazy ass amounts of money for something like that. And of course, there are people that are going to pay it. I mean, that's where NVIDIA, I think, is really trying to solidify their dominance of the market. Um, now, I keep harping on NVIDIA. It's just because they are not the most friendly when it comes to open standards. We already know that they're writing uh, GameWorks for DX12. So obviously, they're not going to be as forthcoming to Vulkan. Now, I can see them adapting the DX12 uh, GameWorks to now work on Vulkan, especially with the push from another major company such as Intel. Because let's face it, when it comes to company size, Intel's number one, then NVIDIA, and AMD's still way down here. They're still recovering from uh, a pretty rough decade, but they're on their way up. So the competition in the market is getting better, and that's a good thing for everybody. And the fact that Intel's pushing open standards, that's awesome. That's great. Finally, hopefully we can get rid of this proprietary technology. Maybe NVIDIA will be forced to adopt such technology. I was kind of hoping uh, HDMI 2.1 would force them to offer uh, adaptive sync via HDMI 2.1. We're, we're still not sure if that's going to happen. I mean, it's freaking NVIDIA. They're going to do whatever it is that they want to do anyway. But alrighty, guys, I just want to throw this out there real quick at you. Let you guys know that technology is moving forward in a more open direction. And that's a good thing for us as consumers. Typically, that means products will be more budget friendly and everybody can get access to it. Because even cheaper stuff can just implement things like FreeSync because it doesn't cost anything. It's built into the freaking standard. You don't need a $500 chip. Hold on one second. I wanted to show this directly to you guys. This is over here on PC Perspective. And if we scroll on down here, I did a little control F to get in there, but okay, the FPGA alone makes up $500 of the final price point of these new displays. And this is them talking about the new G-Sync HDR. I mean, who wants to pay an extra $500 for something that you absolutely don't need to? This thing does not need to exist. There is competing technology on the other side that does everything this does, and it costs nothing. Now, granted, this may be a slightly superior technology, but is slightly superior worth $500 to you? I doubt it. There are a few people out there that will say, yeah, I don't care. What's $500? I make more than that in an hour. Okay, that's 0.1% of people out there. To everybody else who has an average income, such as myself, that's, that's not worth it to me. I will just leave it there. It's up to you. But there you go. You have hard numbers. These aren't. This isn't just me just spitting stuff out of nowhere. Well, alrighty, guys. I just wanted to bring that up here today. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Do you think that's good that we're moving into a more open direction? I personally think that it is, but let me know what you guys think in the comments section below there. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. Please share with friends. That really helps me out. And that's all I have for today, and I will catch you guys in the next video.